Hey everyone, welcome to the Nostalgia Team. Plan 64 here, and today I got some. This is actually we're here for another episode of Gone 64's stupid reveal. Now, if you've seen the video title, you might know a little change that's on this video because when you when I say stupid reveal. You know it's stupid reveal, but this is going to I'm going to have to reboot this franchise in favor. And I'm also gonna change the name to change the name too. It will no longer be Colin 64's stu stupid reveal. Instead, it would be classic reveals. They even made an intro about it. Kill the intro! Enjoy. Anyways, what, now we're on the topic of classic and nostalgia team being my name, I mean my nickname. I'm actually feeling nostalgic for my childhood. You guys might be wondering, what was the first video game that I ever played? It was actually computer games. No, no, no. What was my first console? Well, if anyone wanted to know, my first console was the PlayStation 3. And you remember when it had a creepy commercial with a baby? Yeah, that one. <laughs> Imagine a kid who is 7 years old getting up from bed watching his favorite cartoons in the morning. Oh boy, I cannot wait to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Let's see what's on. <laughs> I know you know about consoles, but what about my first handheld? So my first handheld is the PlayStation Vita, which released in 2011 alongside its rival, the Nintendo 3DS. You can see that I'm a PlayStation guy when I was little, not a Nintendo guy. I am literally suffocated in Mario merchandise right now. I know the PlayStation Vita wasn't as successful as the PlayStation Portable, and its rival the Nintendo 3DS, and its memory cards are kind of crap. But I actually liked the system when I was little, and I actually had some games I grew up with on the system. Like PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, which I have on PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Vita, which released in 2012. And you can't get enough of that goddamn sick intro cutscene with so much action. And the music too. Holy crap, you have to listen to this music. It's amazing, I tell you. If you were still on this channel for two years, you probably may see me reveal this game back in 2020. And it was also the first episode of Colin 64 Shiba Reveal, which I'm now preferring to classic reveals. And if you're new to this channel, please don't watch my old content, they're cringe. Just watch my newer content. Thank you. I also played a game on the system called Phobus Says, and oh boy, that was a weird one that I played when I was little. Yeah. There was another game that I played on the system. It actually it was a game that I played a lot when I was brittle. I enjoyed this game a lot. And that top game is Tomba. Now you guys probably might be thinking, Cohen, 
Madden 64! That isn't a game on PlayStation Vita! That's a PlayStation 1 game! Well, smarty pants, let me tell you the truth on why a PlayStation 1 game is in a PlayStation Vita console. Well, nerdy nerdy, the answer is if you guys ever played a PlayStation or just started a playing a PlayStation, you probably may have heard of a thing called PlayStation Store. So PlayStation Store is a service where you can buy games or movies or now TV shows. You can also get PlayStation 1 games, but that was like last time, back in like, I don't know, 2011. Now they don't put, use PlayStation 1 games for future consoles. Until now, since PlayStation picked up the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 and PlayStation Portable games with their PlayStation Plus Premium service. So why was Tomba so special to me? Oh, I'll give you guys a hint. It's childhood. That's the answer. It's childhood. So anyways, let's play the game. Get your, now, what, get your pink mascot. They never made a Tomba Plus, so, I don't know. Get a Kirby or something. And grab your popcorn. I don't have popcorn, so I can't put it. Let's play the game. So the game starts with a damn great opening cutscene. And it even has some good music too. Like I'm telling ya. Also it had some different versions versions of the song. What you're listening now is the to the North American version. Probably the instrumental one. In the Japanese version, it's pretty much the same song, except this time, a girl, Japanese girl is singing the song. Yeah, the song in Jap Japan is called Paradise. Just listen. For the Europeans though, um... You know what? I was actually warm. I kind of like this intro now. I didn't like it at first when I first listened to it, but now I like it. Although, which version do I prefer of the intro? Well, it's probably the North American version because, come on, I grew up, up with that intro when I had this game on PlayStation Vita. Anyways, let's actually talk about the game story itself. <laughs> So in the game story, Tomba ch chases a hog to actually be his meat until he sees a bunch of pigs terrorizing an old man. So what does Tomba do? Attack the pigs until he, he blacks out over a tree branch and one of the pigs stole his wings. Tomba is mad about this so he goes on his greatest adventure yet. And throughout the story, you meet an old man who tells the story about how the pigs terrorize in the forest, turning the trees into, who would have guessed, balls, and send the pigs to find some good stuff around the forest, like golden treasures. So Tomba goes on an adventure to save the fo forest from the dreadful evil pigs. Kinda sounds familiar if you ask me. Anyways, let's talk about the gameplay itself. So the game plays as your average 2D platformer, and I kind of like it. You can jump on platforms, and you can even attack the pigs. You can even do special moves on them, like you doing this and jumping on a tree that has a freaking butt that thoughts. What were they thinking? That's disgusting! Like, what the hell? Yeah, I know, Kirby. It is disgusting. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that this game also has some missions for you to do. You have to get some items or correct stuff to actually complete the missions. Like, check this one. Clear the fog. If you get a furious tornado, that would clear the fog. You can also go to the village and help the dwarves. You can say that this was more RPG than platformer. And that's pretty much that I have to say about this game. This is a good platformer. Even when I played it when I was little, it still holds up very good to this day. It was so good that I got a sequel in a few years, which, which I'm not revealing since I actually don't like the sequel. I'm sorry, I just don't like its 3D platforming. I know it has to change, but sorry, Tomba fans, if I gotta respect my opinion, All right? Anyways, it's a good game. And now for the first time, I'm making a rating system for this series. And you know what? Dumba gets an 8 out of 10. Anyways, thanks for watching. Go like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, my boys. Thank <laughs> you.